Hello everyone and welcome to Garden Gate Magazine's very first container challenge. We're here at Kenoyer Garden Center in Grimes, Iowa. We ask two gardeners to put together a container in 30 minutes or less and we'll follow along as they design and build the container so we can get any of their secrets along the way. When 30 minutes is up, they'll share their creations with our judges and we'll choose a winner based not just on how it looks today, but also how we think it'll fare over the next couple of months. The prize, this super pretty, super valuable golden container. You want one, don't you? Now it's time to meet the contestants. First up, Garden Gate's very own Chloe Dykey. Hey, I'm really excited to be here. Next, we have Kenoyer's custom container designer, Rita Tressler. Hi, I'm happy to be here and thanks for inviting me. So glad you're here. <laughs> The team here at Kenoyer tells us that their customers just love color. So today's theme is instant color. Can you put together a container that's packed with flowers and will make a big splash? Oh yeah. Yes, you absolutely. Ready? Okay, let's do it. So choose from the containers we have here and you have 30 minutes to design and put the container together. Are you ready? Ready. Set, <laughs> go. I think I'm going to go with this darker gray one because I, I think colors will really pop against it. And it's also a good neutral color, so I have a lot of room to work with there. So I'm choosing the cobalt blue. It's always been one of my favorite colors. I love the hype and the design of the container. I'm trying to decide between uh, three thrillers here. Oh, you're not putting them all in the same container at no, the same time? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so I practically grew up in a garden center. My toys were a big bucket of dirt and some scoops. So it's really great to be back here in a garden center. Um, I mean, I love writing about gardening and plants and flowers and all of that. But to be able to be hands-on and uh, really create a container today, I'm up for the challenge. So with this hive, I think, in this color, Grass. I would like to have a bright chartreuse green to go with it. Like so for my fillers, there's probably three of those. I've been doing custom containers for almost 30 years and I'm very passionate about what I do. I co completely love my job here at Kenoyers. I do a four season change out at homes and businesses and then I create most of the containers that are for sale here in retail. Yeah, in case you're wondering, it's true. I'm pregnant, uh, so I'm just a couple months away. Really pulling for the sympathy vote on that one. I think these are gonna be nice, long-term color, really bright, pops well against the gray. Gonna grab a few. I, I like all my plants to be about the same size so that they grow evenly, and I like them to already have a little spill to them. So a selection of my container. I then pick what I want for my center and then I um, pick my flowers accordingly. I always like to have height in the middle or off to the back or the side. And then I like to have a foundation after that. And then of course last and, but not least are the things that spill over my sides. All right, so I love this verbena. I think it's a really beautiful color and it'll be nice. It'll kind of trail, it'll just intermix and weave through everything. So I'm gonna grab a few of these as well. Uh, obviously annuals, are the long flowering plants that are really gonna take the container through the season with all the color. But I like to use the perennial um, Creeping Jenny because it adds like a really vibrant color. It's gonna really grow and spill over. And the great thing about it is at the end of the season, um, I can take it out of the container and plant it in the ground as a ground cover in my garden to fill in some holes and have some nice color there. So that'll be really nice. Beautiful. Oh, I love dragon wings. I know, you know, the thing about dragon wings is that they can take sun or shade and they're low maintenance. They get a little messy with their blooms, but they're beautiful with a shade of blue. Okay, so I'm going to select probably an entire flat of dragon wing begonias and I feel like I'd like them to be consistent in size. This one's too small. This one looks good. It may even take more than a flat, but we'll start with that. And um, let me see, I kind of like the size of this one. And I feel like this is probably enough for me to get started. 
So I'm gonna head back and, and uh, get going with my container. Well, Rita. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Here we go. Are you sure you chose the right stuff? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Not right. a doubt in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so ready, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm still a little nervous about my um, thriller choice here. I think it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm a little suspicious though because um, the only reason I know it can work in the full sun is because Rita told me. <laughs> Honestly, when you I could have, in, you could have sabotaged this morning, me. Chloe. This was my first selection. <laughs> so I don't know what that means exactly. I, mean, I don't know either. We had the same idea. Yeah, we did. Somehow I bullied you out of choosing something. It. Something happened. The cobalt blue pot happened, and then it was all. Yeah. Then it became a whole different deal. Uh -huh. How's it going, ladies? Good. Oh, We're rocking good. it. We have ten minutes left. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> The potting mix that, that I like to use is what we have for sale here at Penoyer Garden Center. It's called Berger and it's um, from out of Canada. And it's very lightweight, it holds moisture really well and, and we grow all of our product in that soil. Kind of going back and forth of making it beautiful from all sides or just doing one focal point in the front. Um, if it's gonna be back up against something, Say your garage is back here, yeah. or, or you know your patio wall or whatever, and just do your front. I've really done that lots of up. times. Okay. Sure, yeah. Okay, I got one big creeping Jenny because it's full and mm -hmm. I love those. You know, I love those. It's really going to trail, but I think I'm going to divide it into two because mm -hmm. then I can stick it in a couple of places. Yeah. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe I should look. It's kind of too much all on its own. It's a big one. It is a big one. Are you done over there? Well, I kind of am. Oh my gosh. I can supervise you if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> well, the 30 minutes is up and it's time for judging. I've invited Kyle Kanoyer of Kanoyer Garden Center in to help with that task. It looks like we have a big job ahead of us. We do. Thank you guys for coming in on this beautiful day. And the contestants look like they did a great job. They really did. It's going to be a hard decision. It's going to be very difficult. <laughs> let's bring them on in. Well, let's start with Chloe. Chloe, would you like to tell us about your container? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. OK. Uh, so I, I chose you know, this kind of darker gray. It has a little bit of dullness to it. So I wanted to make sure I had some really bright flowers. Um, this croton is going to have this colorful foliage for you know, the whole time. It's not going away. So that's really nice. Um, and then these guys are going to fill in and spill over. And um, I kind of designed it so that this is the front. Mm -hmm. okay. Put it up against the wall. So it's uh, viewed to be, it's, it's set to be viewed from one side. From one side. Yes, mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay. And is this a composite container or a ceramic? It, it's ceramic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It looks nice. <laughs> So, you have for us? so again, what I like about my container is that I, uh, cobalt blue is one of my favorite colors. I love the versatility of the dragonweed begonia, sun or shade, and also the alyssum will spill over nicely, and the graceful vertigo grass will get quite a bit taller, and it will also come out in fountain. Um, it, it also gets a little tassel on the top of it, which creates a whole different texture as well. And um, this is a variety of Algerian ivy. I love the chartreuse green, and I'm happy with it. It's beautiful. Yep, also, nice job. Well, so Kyle and I need to talk a little bit, and uh, then we'll be deciding who will get this super valuable golden container prize. So now let's start with Chloe's container. Absolutely. I love Chloe's container here. Uh, some of the great things I love about it, the Xenia, the proven winner Xenia, uh, the Super Bell, um, the Verbena, those are all going to provide a lot of color. Uh, the container, she's right, um, for a little bit of spring 
color though, maybe would have liked to have a different pot choice. Something a little brighter. Yeah, something yeah, a little brighter for spring. That. The the pot itself is a little more for elegant. Right. Um, That's the Croton's true. beautiful, always gonna have color. Mm -hmm. Lismachia is gonna drape over. This is gonna be a very nice container. Uh, I think you're right. One, I, I am a sucker for these two colors together, mm -hmm. this magenta and peach. I just love that color combination. That gets me every time. One concern I would have about the container is the verbena long term. Correct. It seems when I grow verbena, they look really good when I plant them, and then and then later they just kind of That's fade correct. out a lot of times. It's hard to keep them going. So with verbena, yeah, mm -hmm. you have to deadhead them and definitely keep them watered. If they get dry true. once, they That's really true. go out that of color. Can help. But the zinnia should keep getting uh, better and better all year. Yes. So that so that may grow up and cover it up. I don't know. And the croton should put on new growth and get bigger and, and fill the pot more as well. So. It's a, uh, it's pot, a good though. one. It's a good one. I like it. Yes. All right, let's talk about Rita's container. Yes, Rita's container. I, I personally like the, the color choice for a good color pop. Mm -hmm. um, I love yeah. the blue. So bold. Um, it's, it sticks out there. Um, the, the alyssum, like she was talking about, will drape over. Mm -hmm. The dragon wings are going to continue to grow and be crazy. Um, I would have liked to seen a little more color mm -hmm. inside her container, mm -hmm. um, such as the super bells, yep. super tunias, verbenas something to provide a little bit more color. Yeah, right, um, the instant part of it, the instant I, color part of I the agree. challenge. I yeah. agree. I almost yeah. like her uh, plant choice and I like her pot choice <laughs> I know, better. it's hard. But uh, yeah. longevity, these, uh, this container will be a beautiful container. This one long term is just going to get it's better be and beautiful. better and better and this grass will just, mm. by fall it'll be really tall and have the plumes and yep. it'll, it'll be nice, it'll be good. And I bet this alyssum smells good. Yeah, and it drapes oh, it all it the smells, way down. Yeah, that's a nice one, and it smells like honey. Mm. It is beautiful. Yeah, so tough do you choice. Know, yeah, it is a tough choice. Do you know which one you're thinking? Mm. All right, thanks, guys. These containers are just beautiful. Both mm. of them were Thank you. really nice and had so many great points, and it was a difficult decision. It was very difficult. Yeah, but uh, we have decided that because the challenge was instant color today, we are going to award Chloe the golden pot. Super valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just honored. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chloe. Thank you. Great yeah. job, Rita. Yeah, you did Your wonderful. pot was beautiful, Rita. Thank you. I think uh, being the challenge, being color, color mm -hmm. um, I personally love this container and this, I do too. And this selection, but uh, Chloe nailed it with the color. Yep. And yeah. long term, I expect to see that container just get better mm -hmm. and better all summer, mm -hmm. so that's great. If you like either one of these pots, be sure to visit our website where you'll find the recipe for both. Thanks for joining us for our container challenge, and thanks to Kyle and Rita for being such good sports and playing with us today in their garden center. We had a great time. Until next time, see you guys.